This is SAT test 5, calculator question number 6. College Board describes the numbers of novels and magazines in two different ways, and typically when you describe the same numbers in two different ways, what you have is a system of equations. College Board asks six system of equations test questions per exam, so you want to be very good at these. Let's take a look at it. Sadie purchased a total of 11 novels and magazines. I'll make n the number of novels and the magazine number of magazines and that's up to 11. Novels are $4, magazines are $1, and the total price she paid, which is four times the no number of novels plus the number of magazines, is 20. My favorite method for solving systems on the calculator section is matrices. When the equations have the two variables in the same order on the left-hand side equals the constant by itself on the right, you can bring down these coefficients, 1n, 1m, 11. 4n comes down as 4, 1m comes down as 1, and the 20 comes down. Find reduced row echelon form for that matrix, and we get 1, 0, 0, 1, if there is a solution, and then the last column is 3, 8. The same way I turn this n into a 1, going backwards I turn this 1 into an n, 1n plus 0m, so that's just n on the left, equals 3. 0m plus 0n plus 1m is just m equals 8. This system is equivalent to this original system, but you can solve it just by inspection. And the number of novels is 3, which is choice C. I could also have solved this by subtracting the first equation from the second. minus n is 3n, m minus m is 0m, that's why I subtracted 1 times this equation from this and eliminate the variable m. 20 minus 11 is 9, n equals 3. I have other options. I can solve, since I'm looking for n, I can solve the f first equation for m n plus n equals 11, subtract n from both sides, m equals 11 minus n. Substitute this in to m in the second equation, 4n plus m equals 20, when I substitute this in for m, becomes 4n plus 11 minus n equals 20, subtract 11 from both sides, 4n minus n is 3n, 20 minus 11 is 9, divide by 3, n equals 3. There are a lot of options for solving systems. You should practice a variety of options and be ready for this because, again, you'll see this six times on your SAT. Come back soon for my next SAT math video. With math, there's always more.